Hello, internet friends, and welcome back to the episode of Bay's Adventure in Heroes of the Storm. Heroes League! <clears throat> it's been a while. Stay a while. Listen. I am first pick on Battlefield Fraternity here. I want to start off by first saying that I apologize for this series sort of taking a, a lax the first time I've ever had this series rolling. Other than, like, missing the day and putting the video out on Saturday. I, I literally just could not make videos for Heroes League in a while. Um, I got really behind on all my other work this week due to two shoots at the hospital, as well as raid testing that just came up for Friday. And then I did a very long, like, nine-hour Legion stream very recently, like Wednesday before this week, and it just destroyed me. I stayed up until, like, I don't know, six in the morning or something like that streaming. It was ridiculous. So I was just exhausted. I didn't have a backlog. I recorded a whole bunch of Overwatch earlier in the week with Jack. And truth be told, the next day after the Jack and Jack and Ketsu recording session, I did record some more, or tried to record some more Heroes of the Storm. Problem is, I lost six games in a row. So we're ranked 19 right now, the lowest I've ever actually been. And I don't really know how to to counter this, I'm actually really, really upset because I was really upset because I just could not, I, I couldn't push forward with it. I was just so distraught over the nonsense that was happening. We're just gonna play JoJo. You know what, we're gonna just lock in, early tank, get in their faces, help support the Illidan pick and just be an absolute annoyance. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. I lost a lot of games. I had a really frustrating time with a like two games in a row, I remember. I had like a first or second pick Nova that just did nothing on my team. Just nothing. Then I had a, a team that I lost to that my teammates weren't taking seriously. They had picked like triple specialist, double tank, no healer, no assassin. And all they did was just push. All they did was push over and over and over again. Whenever they weren't fighting, one of the specials was pushing a lane. And my team, we got way ahead. We were like three or four levels ahead at one point. And it was on Black Hearts Bay. And then they just kept pushing us. We went for objectives, we went for coins, and we just lost the game. They turned in two or three times in a row because they had backdoored multiple keeps. So, yeah, it was terrible. I... I... <clears throat> I was distraught for a while. I lost a bunch. Then I played a Jaina game that I wish I was recording because I played out of my mind on this Jaina game. Why they were banning Jaina made me think of it. I um, I landed like a quadra kill Ring of Frost that was just... Oh, it was so good. It was on Towers of Doom. We won by like 30 points. It was insane. But I didn't record it because it was in like tilt mode the next day when I was so frustrated. That wasn't going to record. I was like, ah, this thing's going to suck. Let's just fall all the way down. So I'm one game away from 18, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to get back, obviously, but sometimes you just can't win in Heroes League because you just have a team that doesn't do anything or, or picks really terrible champions or... Uh, I don't know. It's good with Illidan. Yeah. It'll be super annoying for them to play against. As long as you, we follow up with Illidan. Yeah. We need to make sure we follow up with Illidan. Illidan doesn't go to Illidan. We're going to run some... Uh, this is a good game. Pro strats. Lots of defense for our, our two DPS. I mean, lots of defense. Myself, Rhaegar, and Tassadar. Illidan and Sergeant Hammer are going to have a time. And Battlefield Returning means we're going to be fighting over points. We have a little bit less... Actually, they have very low damage, too. I mean, they have an actual assassin in Vala for the auto attacks. That she does more than Illidan does. So, I'm trying a new microphone position. I'm not sure if it sounds good or not. This is a test video, basically. Win or lose, this is going up on YouTube because I need to listen to the test audio. I'm trying to turn down my microphone for the settings that I have currently and actually have it closer to my face. I have to make sure I don't get too loud and I don't have a compressor limiter. If I need to get loud, I need to go over like this and be like, blah, blah, blah. I can just lean away from my microphone and make weird noises uh, and it shouldn't be too loud. But until I get my actual setup and my streaming PC, recording PC, whatever I want to call it, my Thor 2, my other rig, 
which thank you to those that are supporting the content via watching ads or subscribing to me on Twitch or supporting me on Patreon. It's all going. I've been saving up now for like three months. It's all going to building a second computer that I can use for streaming. So I can stream at uh, 3800 kbps, which is the max amount of kilobits per second you can send to Twitch, as well as 1080p, 60 fps, beautiful gorgeousness. It'll be for, you know, mostly I'm trying to prep for Legion to up my content um, look and the feel of it. So they have low, kind of low damage. I think I'm actually going to take Night Take. No, I'm going to take Regen Master. I think it's going to be helpful that I'm going to have this extra HPS for myself. Because I hope that Rhaegar and Tassadar should be healing Illidan and, and um, healing Illidan and healing uh, Sergeant Hammer. They shouldn't be healing me. Because that would be... That would be bad. They should want to heal the DPS, not the tank is taking all the damage. Which, you know, makes sense. So, yeah, hope everyone had a great day. Hope you're enjoying my uh, Legion coverage. But a lot of it's coming out. I used to Destruction Warlock and then Vengeance before that. And I'm going to have some more Class Hall stuff and Artifact things coming out soon. Just trying to get a hold on. They're going four man bottom. I just need to have a, get a handle on um, my Florida hospital work. And then uh, I can actually work towards getting some more Legion stuff done. I really want to make... Get out of here. I really want to make content production my main job. I really enjoy making YouTube videos. It's not like everyone thinks like, oh, it's a dream to work on YouTube and all that. Like it's a lot of work. I mean, a nine-hour stream of the day, like, destroyed me. I was dead. All I did the next day was sleep. I ate a giant chicken salad. And then I... I, um... What should we call it? I just played Division for like four hours and went back to bed. So I gotta sneeze, actually. Pardon me. Oh! I said it, and it faked my body out so that I actually didn't have to sneeze for a while. Well, that'll be weird. I don't think I've ever sneezed on a recording before. Maybe that's for you guys. Enjoy that. Gotta grab that regen globe and get that boot down here. Almost going to defend Sergeant Hammer because she is in the fun box. We are racing, it seems. And we have lost the race. Or lost phase one of the race. I'm just gonna run in here and be like, what's up? You can't hurt me. Do you know who I am? I have two supports. I'm also Johanna. Try to put a little defense here. Yeah, I'm just gonna dilly dally around. I'm trying to slow down their damage, but it looks like it's not gonna work. Uh, almost. They have barely any shield, but we'll get out of here. I'm gonna get knocked off my mount. That's fine. I'm gonna grab this guy. I was gonna put pressure on Vala in these team fights because she's gonna be the biggest point of contention for us, I think. What am I going to grab here? I think I'm going to take, um... Oh, crap. I'm going to take Laws of Hope, I believe. So I can do a little bit of this. I want to be, real, I want to be really self-sufficient without a need for my healers to heal me. So that they can focus on keeping our DPS alive and being utility. I'll soak down here, because it's a gigantic wave. Well, now I would probably just take in Amplify Healing or Internal Retaliation for the cooldown reduction. But I'll take the additional health regen. To put some pressure on this whole lane here. And I'm going to make I'm soaking the XP. Do, 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 do. Zul's going to push in. He's going to attack that. That's fine. Oh no, Illidan died. Hmm. Our team comes to be kind of weird. I mean, once we kill their Vala, they're going to have a whole lot of nothing. They have, an, they have two bruisers as their tanks, which is not entirely helpful. In the grand scheme of things, they're going to have extra damage, I guess, for their front line, as it were. But once I get tanked up in a couple more levels, and once I get the AoE stun for Illidan to go off, it's going to be really good for us, I think. <clears throat> All right. So hopefully everything is going well in your life. And if you are only ever watching the YouTube series, which, again, I want to continue this series. It might not be as frequent. I'm probably not going to force myself to make five a week anymore. 
I'm going to try to make it when I have, you know, I'm ready to take a bunch of time to do some good commentary or having the time to grab a friend, you know, another content producer, another personality to come on here and record with me to make them more that they're always a webisode kind of series. Like, Tia wants to record with me, might grab Airho, we'll talk about worlds for Heroes of the Storm, you know, that kind of stuff. So, I'll, uh, good soak. Patrick. Um, Patrick. But, um, that'll be good. He took the uh, mercs there, which is annoying. Um, I think I'll take Sins Exposed, actually. Because I want to add a little bit more damage to my team comp, because we are kind of low damage in comparison. We are kind of low damage overall. So Sins Exposed will help put a little bit more damage on the team when we group up. Oh, Illidan. Oh, Illidan. So there we go. We do that. Walk over here. Get my own little personal heal. I'm gonna. I'm getting really focused. We need. <clears throat> Hammer's getting focused on. Ah, yep. That's the problem with mobile support comps is you need to like draw out the fights and protect the the actual DPS. Take a little drink there. <clears throat> a little frog in my throat today for some reason. But yeah, we gotta kill Vala. Have to kill Vala. That's where all their damage is coming from, obviously. Yeah. Just gotta kill Vala and protect the tank, basically. So we're gonna lose this first phase, but just barely. I may have missed time. We must invade after wave. We have five. Yeah, we gotta get Vala or Sonia taken care of here. Zul is gonna really try to counter Illidan here. Oh, they're getting they're getting a little greedy. They're getting a little greedy and trying to fight us underneath. Yeah. I gotta wait for my shield. Oh, n n you're dead. You gotta be with the team. You can't be so far away. That shield glare coming in clutch right there, adding a little bit extra damage. Denial of service. I'm gonna go back and get the sippy cup while they regroup. We can defend really well. With double support, we can definitely defend and get picks and get the XP to get back into the game. Uh, I think we should not try to fight because they're just gonna loop around. Yeah, I don't know why we should. We should just be defending for right now because we are behind in the experience. Let's try to keep, keep myself in their faces right now. I'll keep letting Bala hit me, that's fine. Put the pressure on her. Yeah, there we go. Put the bonks. A blind Illidan and Sonia maybe back here? Yeah, we're just, we're not, <clears throat> we're not killing anything right off the bat. So, <clears throat> I don't know what the frog in my throat's about right now. It's a little annoying. We could get a lot of picks off this. So oh boy. We need, we need Sergeant Hammer. We, we don't have her right now. Uh, I got Vala. Yeah, you did, but you, like, dove a little hard for it. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. My throat right now. I haven't done a lot of talking in, in like, a day. I streamed uh, Destruction Warlock and Raid Testing, but I don't really talk a lot for Raid Testing, I guess, so... I'm gonna warm up that voice today. Warm up those pipes. Mm -hmm. They ten. Yes, they are definitely ten. They are most certainly level ten. I wonder if... Illidan's gonna take uh, Hunt or Metamorphosis. I wonder if like Meta is like better in this team comp, but I'm not sure exactly. I'm gonna immune this to stand here and tank this damage, I'm trying to heal the Zul off of our healer. Now I'm gonna die for this. Now I'm dead. Yep. Oh, we don't have we don't have the push. We're falling behind with the double support comp here. And Illidan's not really turned on yet, but Illidan also gets I think gets pretty countered by the Zul pick. Just the lockdown it was really annoying for him, and he's dead. Yep, and they're they probably could stay and kill that, but we're gonna take Blessed Shield. You gotta you gotta put some pressure. No, just let her kill that? Okay, don't let her kill that, please. I mean, it's basically dead. You have wall. There you go. I can't stop her. Oh, hello. I stunned them all. They have some follow-up? 
Oh, nice, the hut. That's fine. There we go. You missed the... Uh, I got the shield glare on him, but... Illidan's there. Illidan's there, and I'm there. We'll have a lot of follow-up now with the hunt. So, there we go. We gotta defend, though. Yeah, we gotta defend. We're way behind because they're their big push. So, let's we'll see if we can turn this back around. Again, win or lose is going up on YouTube because I'm testing my audio. I can't kill all this stuff, so... Okay, Rhaegar's here. Alright, I can't stop everything. I don't want them to get the XP, and the catapults will start coming in. Ah, the dogs are going to kill it. Yep. Ah, but this is the thing. I, I don't know, man. Maybe double support is, like, too difficult for low elo. I'm going to get the region globe up here. I'm only at 12. We're at, le we're at just not really much more than one a minute here, which is pretty low. I'm going to try to get this wave soaked. We are at least level 12. They have 13s now. Yeah, this should get us level 12. Bonk. Bonk, bonk. There we go. There's 12. So we're going to defend. Illidan needs to stop overly diving. He's going to die. I think he clicked on the wrong person. Why are we not defending? Why are we attacking? Why are we not defending? Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. I don't know why we're d attacking and not defending, exactly. Misclicked my ult, sorry. Yeah, that's fair. Illidan got out. But they went to attack instead of defend. And we lost the other keep down here just to minions. Yep. Of the problems our team has happens. I mean, I guess. <clears throat> Maybe I needed an ETC for this. Where'd my music go? Well, you've been behind this whole time, barely. Just in map objectives. We're a level behind... <clears throat> but not behind in, um, uh, not because of kills. Just ignore and keep focusing Illidan up. That's my suggestion. We gotta defend this. They're just gonna chase me. No, they're not. We gotta, we gotta get here. Because they'll just kill this thing off. We gotta stop Vala. Since I have no support, I'm just going to die. The whole team is just focusing me. Illidan just can't run in like that, though. <clears throat> he can't just run in like that. He has to, like, attack what's safe. Um, I think we're going to have to take uh, probably Burning Rage so I do a little more damage. Because I don't have enough pressure. Oh, wow. That auto attack followed her. Yep. I don't think Illidan can dive as hard. I think he needs to attack what's safe and then wait for an opening. Because he's just Illidaning too hard. I don't know. It's probably over. They can push to win the game right now. I, mean, I, I took the two talents I thought would bring extra damage to my team. Well, now I have. But we've just fallen behind too far. And this is how like all my games have felt lately. Even though it's funny, when I play against a single tank comp... Their tank never dies. Like, I played against a Johanna recently that, like, their tank literally never, ever died. Just run with me. Get in here. Why is everyone so scared to fight? Everyone is so scared to fight. You have to put pressure on the enemy team. Oh, my gosh. We have to pressure them... Or we just lose anyway. So you have to fight the heroes. I take so much punishment. And nothing happens. They are and were focusing me. No, I was right in front. Whatever. <clears throat> they don't know how to pressure. See, you have to get in here and put pressure on them. You have to do something. So, I'm gonna die again. Look, they're all just killing me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do, team. This is how a lot of my games have been lately. Where my allies are so scared. And their team, they just immediately attack everything. They just go in there and dive. Not really. Ah. <sighs> 
I don't know what to do. I'm now at 19. And now that I've fallen down from the 16 to 17, and now I'm down even lower, I feel there is an entirely new gulf in understanding of the game down here. And I don't know what to do. It's really bad. I have no idea what to do. Like, I played against a Johanna recently that only had one support, and she just charged our team all the time and never died. I do the exact same thing with my team on the same screen as me, and I even get an ancestral healing to get full health, and nothing happens. But I guess it's probably because we have a Sergeant Hammer and no one else can really follow up with me. I have no idea. I mean, I tanked an absolute ton of damage because they ran double bruiser nonsense and just charged us. And we had an Illidan that died eight times. Everyone thinks Illidan is so good right now and so powerful, but he has to be with a comp that goes in with him, which is why I picked Johanna to go with on the beginning. And double support, Illidan is scary, but I think the Sergeant Hammer pick cost us the game. Because it didn't bring any damage to help us. So, I have no idea. I'm going to keep losing games in Heroes League because apparently I can't win any games anymore. I mean, I've lost the last seven of ten games I've played. Which, um, I don't know if it's my fault or not. Uh, it could be totally me. I mean, I, I was pretty garbage at League of Legends. I played for two years and only got to gold four. So maybe it's maybe it's me. Maybe it's I'm showing my true colors, but... Or it's just the people that I'm playing with right now have no idea how to put pressure on the enemy team. They just never, never go in. You have to, to, here's the storm. The first team, almost every time, to engage first and get initial damage down, wins engages. And I was going in and pressuring them and they were all attacking a tank and my team was just like, meh. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoy my plight. Leave a comment below if you have any suggestions. Check out my Patreon page if you want to keep me going and make content creation my full-time gig. And I'll be back with a another adventure.